In 2012 NASA has turned science fiction into science fact by announcing the discovery of hidden portals in Earth's magnetic field called X-points or electron diffusion regions, rather than being intergalactic folds in space leading to different galaxies and planets, these portals aid in the transfer of the magnetic field from the Sun to Earth. Essentially, these portals aid in the transfer of tons of magnetically charged particles that flow from the Sun causing the northern and southern lights and geomagnetic storms. The Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission MMS, is a planned NASA unmanned space mission to study the Earth's magnetosphere using four identical spacecraft flying in a tetrahedral formation. It is scheduled for launch no earlier than March 2015. It is designed to gather information about the microphysics of magnetic ray connection, energetic particle acceleration, and turbulence processes that occur in many astrophysical plasmas. Or launch date 26 November 2014 scheduled. Our planet has come a long way in scientific breakthroughs and discoveries. Mainstream science is beginning to discover new concepts of reality that have the potential to change our perception about our planet and the extraterrestrial environment that surrounds it forever. Stargates, wormholes, and portals have been the subject of conspiracy theories and theoretical physics for decades. But that is all coming to an end as we continue to grow in our understanding about the true nature of our reality. In physics, a wormhole was a hypothetical feature of space-time that would be a shortcut through space-time. We often wonder how extraterrestrials could travel so far and this could be one of many explanations. Although scientists still don't really understand what they have found, it does open the mind to many possibilities. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Somo here. Hey, uh, back in uh, 2012, uh, NASA made this discovery that they found electromagnetic portals on the Earth. And um, basically, to show the terms, basically these portals were um, doorways or something where um, it's kind of like the old um, Star Trek or science fiction thing where you can go into another dimension kind of thing. It also kind of reminds me of the... Uh, Pacific Rim, remember when there's somewhere in the Ring of Fire where these uh, alien creatures would come through the uh, a doorway, this portal thing, so what, what they were trying to do is shut the portal. So anyways, NASA just uh, made a discovery back in 2012, and they said that these portals would open up a certain time and then close up a certain time. Uh, one of the discoveries um, that... Uh, that I heard on these, the, they were called it the 12 gates or underworld or whatever that Perry Stone was talking about. And one of them was the Bermuda Triangle. And I remember that back in the 70s when they were talking about where there's mysteries of things uh, disappeared and so forth. But uh, they're saying that that is one of the portals on there uh, where things are happening or one of the activations on that. Anyways, so uh, this is becoming a reality and uh, NASA is going to launch this thing. Um, they said they were supposed to launch it back in. Uh, they were supposed to actually launch it in August uh, 2014, which is this month. But now they pushed it back to. Uh, it was going to be in November, and now it's going to be 2015 of March. So this is a real thing. They're going to actually send this thing up there and try to find these portals and. My question is, why in the hell do you want to uh, 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 find these uh, portals? Get it? And um, Perry Stone talked about the 12 portals, and these can be the gateways, basically, to the underworld. Um, and uh, basically, that's where the um, demons and UFOs and all these things open up. And uh, it, it's kind of a coming a mystery, but it's also coming a reality, too. So... Um, I don't know if there's some these portals are something to mess with because uh, you know you can be opening up some a can of worms. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a bigger problem than it is. Um, I know obviously these things have been here for a long time before we even known about it. But um, <clears throat> um, so anyways, you have it there, and it's also written in the scriptures too. I believe in Daniel and and other chapters. So it talks about gates. Uh, different gates. 
uh, dimensions and so forth. Uh, so obviously they have to because a lot of people have been seeing UFOs and a lot of strange things uh, opening up. Here's one article of this archaeologist in, in Turkey or found something in Turkey and he heard sounds of hell, people screaming and so forth. And that was in 2013 um, in April, which is kind of bizarre there. So, and they've been finding a lot of weird stuff, um, kind of things happening and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> this has definitely opened up a, a lot of other things that's coming about as well. Here's a little map of uh, where the so-called portals are. Uh, one of them, as you can see right here, is the Buna, uh, Bermuda Triangle, which is mostly famous for all these uh, planes are uh, disappearing and uh, different ships have dis disappeared and describe of a portal to a different world, so they've disappeared. And you can see there's one in different areas there as well. Um, one is uh, also the ones called the Devil's Triangle, which is up here near Japan. Um, that's as known as a different uh, portal as well. And then um, you can see all these different places here where these activities are happening. They describe it as, as portals and triangles and so forth. And here's a little clearer view of that, so you can see where all the different spots are opened up as well. Another interesting place uh, was uh, recently that someone posted and said there was a, a portal or under the water near off the coast of California near Malibu. And uh, so that was kind of interesting there as well. But talking about the Buna Triangle, there's other places uh, um, where people have said there's uh, portals like the Superstition Mountain in um, Phoenix, Arizona, and that's that's the place we're up there as well. Another place is called the uh, Lake Kenya, which is um, where there's a lot of disappearance and people um, off of there as well. And then here's uh, they call it Blue Ranch. Ranch where a lot of UFO sightings have happened down there as well. And then, you know, these are just some of the places, but I'm sure there's a lot of other places where uh, uh, these things are happening. Another place is famous for is that Mothman series uh, right off of uh, Virginia, and that branch uh, where the Mothman appeared. And um, uh, there's been books written on that, so they, they discovered that others saying that this is a portal as well. I'm sure there's, like I mentioned, there's other places on that. So these things are real. So um, it's in the Bible, that's for sure. It talks about gates and, and the book of Daniel as well. So it's kind of interesting that we are heading toward this era of things happening. So God bless you guys and uh, let you know if you, if you hear anything else. And uh, just be aware that NASA is going to launch this thing in March of 2015 or even sooner. So. We'll see what happens. I hope uh, this will not be a bad thing um, as far as dabbling into um, other portals and letting things in and so forth. So there you have it. It's definitely in the book of Revelations for sure uh, where it talks about things uh, coming underground and so forth. So God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.